Hi everybody, this is Big Chuck. Now, I gotta tell you, I'm trying to wrap up a mystery. My good friend Doug Decker called me last week and said he had a band job out at the uh, Shenango Lake and the directions were turn at Lucille Ball's mansion. What is that? Did Lucille Ball ever live at Shenango Lake? That was the question. More than 3,000 people looked at my post trying to figure it out and the answer is Yes, she did. Now here's what we got. She didn't own, but she stayed a lot out here at Shenango Lake. You know where I am? I'm at Shenango Lake, and I think I'm at the home she stayed at. It's a sprawling mansion on top of Shenango Lake, and there's the carriage house right there. And of course, everybody told me that it's right by the gigantic AT&T Tower. That's people who said they worked at the AT&T Tower, saw Lucy here in the days. I'm guessing that's the AT&T Tower. Now, the home she stayed at belonged to the Eaton family, E-A-T-O-N, and they're a big Norwich name and big with Norwich pharmaceuticals. And Lucy and Desi and little Ricky and Lucy, little Lucy all came out here for summers and stayed here, and it's for sale. And there it is. It's kind of rough looking right now, but I'm going to list the uh, real estate listing in the post below. But I think that this is the place everybody said that Lucille Ball used to stay at, at Shenango Lake. And it's for sales. And if Lucy, if you're listening, is this your place? You got some splaining to do. Take a look. I'm Big Chuck at Shenango Lake.